I remember the three wee boys walking behind their daddy's coffin and I remember it so well and the silence when we were walking. They talk about the glorious dead. There's no glorious dead. There's just the dead. It's not just the old who have the painful memories. The trauma of what happened to their father when they were but young boys is fixed into the mindset of Paul and Gary Elliott. Being the eldest by just minutes, Paul became the man of the house for the family when his 38-year-old father was butchered outside the shop where he worked in Keady. Little Paul was only 10 years of age. That's the hard thing to talk about because he was a, a member of the Orange Order. He was a member of the, the Royal Irish Rangers. He was a soft target. And, you know, it was a statement from then that they would say, this type of man is not acceptable in a town such as Katie. Pastor Karen Duff took us up uh, to a neighbour's house uh, where he informed us. He had the, the three kids all, all around his knee and he informed us that uh, your father has been shot. And I said straight back to him, is he dead? And he says, he is. And I think Gary then said after me, he says, uh, you mean he's been killed? He says, yes, he has been killed. And from that day and hour, that has hardened me and has hardened our family and give us a resolve in the family uh, to keep going. Those two wee girls uh, have missed out on a grandfather as I have missed out on my father. And I feel for them because I know full well that they would have doted on their grand Elliot. And I know that we all have to move on and we have to move on uh, in a way that uh, we can have a good family life together but I want to give my two daughters uh, the father figure that I missed out on. <laughs> I, I didn't want to show it, I was bottling it all up inside me and I didn't cry until they lowered my father into the ground and then I knew it was over. But my father was a, a great man. You know, I was so, so proud of everything my father stood for. The fur group offers us victims a vehicle under the one umbrella group to try and move on. The legacy of the past has to be addressed, but we can't move on unless we have the resources. The Fur Group has offered us all that a spirit to try a, to come to terms with what has happened. The victims are still uh, being made victims. Being made victims they were once and now what the what our politicians are doing, they're making them victims again.